Becoming cloudy with rain showers developing by morning, the lows 37 to 41. You know, people come here to be entertained, not to be preached at. Stunned moviegoers expected to see Robin Hood in Sherwood Forest, but up on the screen appeared a Satan-worshipping warlock named Isaac Horowitz. Entertainment Tonight has the story for this Friday, October 18th, 1991. Everybody, thanks for joining me for entertainment tonight. John Tesh is away. I'm Mary Hart. Moviegoers in Albuquerque, New Mexico, went to see Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and many were stunned when, without notice, a film appeared on the screen which linked Halloween and Satanism. Many in the audience complained that the surprise added attraction had anti-Semitic overtones. What I read turned my complexion three shades of blue. It said, my name is Isaac Horowitz. I'm a male witch. This short film is actually a music video by Christian rocker Carmen, in which he's tempted by an evil warlock named Isaac Horowitz. The video is being shown in five theaters, including these two in New Mexico, before all of their feature films, such as Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and The Naked Gun Two and a Half. The obviously Jewish name and its link to evil have the Anti-Defamation League up in arms. Susan Seligman of the New Mexico office yeah, says she's had seven. dozens of calls about it. People were horrified that um, a devil was named Isaac Horowitz and that there was a film that showed the good versus evil uh, with a person who was obviously uh, had a Jewish name. The video shows the evil Horowitz claiming responsibility for AIDS and other calamities. Christian singer Carmen claims his song and video are based on a true story told to him by a preacher. The reason that I used the name Isaac Horowitz was uh, because in the actual story, that was the person's name, with the exception of two letters that I changed in the end to kind of protect their personal identity. Carmen says neither he nor his song are anti-Semitic. And you puppet of the devil that I will compare. If the song, because of the name that was used, offended some people um, in the Jewish community, my goodness, I apologize so much, because that was the last thing I wanted to do. The video is being shown without any warning to patrons. Lana Garner, who owns the theater showing the video, seems to feel it's important to warn people about Satanism at Halloween. At this time of the year, there is more prayer going up to Satan. There is more blood sacrifice. The majority of the patrons we spoke to in Albuquerque didn't share Garner's sentiments. People come here to be entertained, not to be preached at. You know, if people wanted that, I think they'd go to church, not to a theater. In my little purse here, I got the address and the phone number of the people who made this film. I'm going to complain very, very heavily to them. In spite of the protests, Lana Gardner said she will continue to run a witch's invitation through the end of October.